Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmassy vlog. So today, Danny and I are meeting up with Maisie and Murphy. So you guys will remember Maisie from the badminton vlog, and also I've done a beach vlog with her with Murphy. So you guys will all know Murphy now too. We are going down to Lorna's today, which is where I went to practice my dressage test because Lorna has very kindly let me and Maisie go down to hers to use her school to have some fun. Maze is going to be riding down to Lorna's because she isn't that far. It's only hacking distance for her, which is perfect because we unfortunately cannot pick her up in our car because Murph is quite a big boy. You guys will see in my intro, the stables have been decorated and obviously behind me. So I'm going to give you a little view of it now. Are you all ready to see Dan's stable? One, two, three. Ta-da! Here we have it. And as you can see, it took us a long time. It took us all of this week to get it decorated. One, two, three. We're all going to see Dawn's stable. Let's go. Woo! Here we have it, guys. You guys might notice some things from last year, like the tinsels in the same place and the sand to stop and the stocking. But this here is all added addition to this year. Dawnies, you will notice the tinsel, which was in here last year as well so the fun activities that me and Maze have got planned although I Maze I don't think knows what she signed up to because we were thinking of some Christmassy vlogs because basically this year I thought about doing vlogmas as I mentioned last year because if you guys was watching me around this time last year I put out a few Christmassy vlogs and I did say that I would do vlogmas this year but guys vlogmas isn't as easy as you all think it takes a lot of time and just for decorating these stables it has like we have been getting it for the last two months or so and to plot and plan it even though you would just think you're just putting it up it's not as easy as you think so if i was doing vlogmas i would have had to have started way back at the beginning of november like the other vloggers have that are doing vlogmas this year so i thought you know what we're not going to go for vlogmas this year i maybe do it next year i don't know but i think this looks pretty cool you might think we're a bit sad by decorating the stables but i think it looks quite cool and dawnies looks so cute with her little stable over december there are going to be a few christmassy vlogs there's not going to be loads but different things that i've kind of got planned and I messaged Maze to see if she wanted to be part of the vlog and do something Christmassy for you guys. And she said yes. Now, me and Maze used to have so much fun together, going in the school, riding together and everything. But the last two years have been so different for us where we haven't been meeting up as much. We've only been meeting up going for hacks because unfortunately our car has not got the strength to pull Murph and Dan because they are both big boys. This is why it's perfect that we have been allowed down to Lorna's so that Maze can hack there so that we can still have our 
fun together so i went down to lorna's last night and i've put a jump out we're gonna have two jumps and then we're gonna have a little bit of gymkhana i've got some gymkhana equipment which i've had since i was around four so i've brought out some of it and we're just gonna have a bit of fun with dan and murph basically and just make it christmasy themed for you guys Stan's been having a lot of fun with this Christmas decoration because last year obviously we decorated both our stables but not to the extreme that we have this year we just had a few things now Dan was not bothered about it at all we also decorated the stables at Easter time with little eggs and everything like that again Dan did not touch it Dan is not a disruptive well he wasn't let's say because we put the decorations up he has already ruined dawn's decorations so this merry christmas which they both had like, may i just add he's bit it off we found it on the floor down there the other day so we now have to swap and change between dan's and to dawn's but it can stay there for the time being but yes he done that also we come up here the other morning because you will have noticed on dan's stable door we have got two oh you can't see two boots so obviously he puts his head over here he had reached them and pulled them off of the hooks and they were flung on the floor not only has he done that guys the trees went up and he was out in the field minding his own business we went come back to see that there were some baubles off the floor he had bit or stood i'm not quite sure what he's done on the bauble which i'm going to show you what he has this done is what he's done to the bauble and dan is honestly not a disruptive horse whatsoever and this year he's decided that he is going to be annoying and ruin everything that we have done and i actually think he's jealous of dawn's stable I, I reckon dan thinks that dawn's got something on her stable that he doesn't because it's always dawn's where he goes to break it but his own stable he just pulls it down like this morning i come up the tinsel was hanging down and um, he's flicked the baubles off of the tree and everything so we do have to watch you don't we mister and he was full of it he's had a few days off because we've been busy and yesterday you just he was so grumpy when i got here he was just wired and he just needs to be ridden, which is obviously what's going to happen today. And I was taking off his magnetic boots, getting ready to let him out in the field. And he turned, shoved his bum on me and I went flying across the stable and literally fell flat on my face. Didn't I, Dan? And I stubbed my toe, which was not fun. But yes, it's all reality, guys. He has already broken things. But Dawn, on the other hand, is absolutely loving this Christmas stuff. I feel like I need to get something that says Grinch for Dan and then something very happy and Merry Christmas for little Dawny over there. But for now, I think this is a very long intro, so I'm going to carry on getting Dan ready. We are going to be at Lorna's for, I said to Maisie, about half past nine. But I think we're going to get there just before because we've got to decorate the school and everything like that. Okay, guys, we're just hitching up the trailer. Okay, guys, we are en route. Dan is obviously in the back. I've put his boots on. He's got his rugs on and everything. I couldn't film it because we're only 15 minutes late. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Right, guys, we are here. So we've got to go out through the gate but there is a christmas song on and i can't play it for you guys because it'll be done as copyright so i'm stopping so i can carry on singing right guys just pulled the ramp down for dan i'm dressed up but i'm not going to show you guys yet until Maze comes here but in a minute i'll be starting to tack dan up good boy hello ma who's that dan hello ma oh my god i love him with a mane So they're decorating the Christmas tree with a star on top for you and me. Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Way up north, they're making so. 
toys for every little girl and boy who mailed in letters cause they've been better so much better than the year before Santa's crossing off every wish even moms and dads have made the list can you hear the sleigh bells it's Christmas time the sound of sleigh bells Claus, 
it one more time. Merry Christmas!
She's like, she knows what she's doing in the shortest piece of time. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I thought he looked a picture going round. Yeah. He is epic, but I don't find him the easiest to ride at time. <laughs> Just riding him strong. Yeah. He tries. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> what do you think of him then? Yeah. Very strong little powerhouse. <laughs> Sometimes I can get him going really nicely. Mm, he's he's probably been wound up a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, if he could drop his head, soften him. Yeah. Wouldn't be so. I don't know because when she does show it, he remembers outline then and they say to her then that she's strong. He is bloody strong. And that's nothing. Oh, I have a pelham on him. Good boy, Dan. Okay, guys, so I'm now with Maisie. Um, and we're finished, and it was good fun. Yeah, it was so we good. We swapped ponies, which was, I literally, is hilarious. You would have seen on the footage already. <laughs> it was so good. But you've done so well on Dan, Thank by you. the way. But yeah, I've got my hat. It literally was amazing. Okay, guys, we are now, I can't see Maisie's head. Now hacking back, just opening the gate for Mace. Hey, good boy, Mace. So Maisie's plastic bag's got all her Christmas stuff in. Just right riding along the main road, isn't it? Yeah, because no. that's a normal thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks, Mace, for coming no, and being part of the so vlog. Fun. They were so good. They were, they were amazing. And thank you for letting me ride Murphy Moo. Right. <laughs> you little legend, Murph. I'm so sorry about my appalling riding. No, you're not. Oh, good boy. You're in it. Right, thank you so much. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. So, guys, that's it for now. Just walking back up. Sorry, I don't have any of my Christmas stuff on because I've just been sorting Dan out and talking to me. So, a little catch up, a mini one. But Dan's there, and yeah, I'll update you all. In Hope a minute. you're loving Daisy's looking like a snowman. Hey, Daisy. <laughs> Good girl. Hello, Gypsy. Okay, guys, we are now on our way home, and God, that was so much fun with Maze and Murph. Obviously, you guys will have already have done the footage. It was absolute chaos, but. It was so good. Dan was amazing, as you would have seen jumping. He was absolutely loving life. So was Murph. Obviously, me and Maisie decided to do a swap, and Maisie rode Dan amazingly. Um, and I got on Murph, and oh my god, well that is just something different. I don't know what it is. I just, I just cannot ride him. Literally, I rode him about two years ago, and Maisie rode someone else's horse, and we went out for a hack. And we went to go up a canter track and I just could not get him to canter. Like, I just don't know what's wrong with my riding with him. And he's obviously so much bigger and his stride. And I haven't ridden something as big as that in about two years. So it felt so weird. And I, 
I absolutely love Murph. I literally love Murph as much as I love Dan. I'm not even joking. I do. I generally love him so much. And there's no way you would think he is 21 years old. Like, he is just ace. But, yeah, my riding was very questionable, I think, today anyway. Um, but especially on Murph. I mean, I got a few strides of canter with him. And my riding, I'm not going to lie with Murph, was better than the last time I rode him. And it was appalling today. But I just want to say a massive thanks to Maze for letting me ride Murph. And I popped him over a little jump. He's just so good. He's such a legend. And Dan and Maze went over a jump. And he absolutely aced it. He was just literally so forward and each time we would go around it would whiz him up more and then Kate who is um Lorna's daughter-in-law come up and helped us set up and things and she had a go on Murphy which she rode Murphy 10 times better than what I did she got him going really nicely and then she wanted to have a ride on Dan so she got on Dan and done very well on Dan too and she actually said I got a few videos guys because I want it on video because she told me that I do very well to ride Danny because I think people think when I say he's strong I don't think people believe me I think they just think it's me making it up or or me making him strong it honestly is not guys it's not until you ride him that you realize actually he is strong because I think Kate thought that I was just making up when I said he was getting strong away from me but then when Kate rode him she was like oh my god he is so strong and she basically said to me she doesn't know how I ride him I ride him really well um so yes yeah, so that was really good to see somebody else ride Dan because I never normally let people ride Danny so Maisie and Kate are both very privileged that they got the ride on Dan and I'm not gonna lie I think Maze was shocked when I said we could do a swap and you can ride uh, Dan and she was just trotting and canting around I went Maze you can jump I just generally thought she would have just gone over the jump anyway and she went can I like she was just so shocked I think because she knows that I don't like anybody riding Danny um so yeah they were both very privileged to ride him but they both rode him really well and yeah it was so much fun we went over the stepping stones which is my old Gymkhana equipment from when I was four and then we just put two jumps up Murph doesn't really jump because obviously he is 21 he mainly does happy hacking and it was his first time in the school in like a year so he done really well the jumps wasn't massive the yellow one and i think it was green was 70 and i think the red and blue one was just slightly smaller but yeah both boys loved it me and Maze had lots of fun i think Maze was a bit shocked when i told her she's got to put the elf outfit on but i think it looked pretty cool to be honest with you Kate also said to me that I make Danny look easy to ride because he isn't actually that easy and I think that's another thing I think people think Dan is easy to ride but it's not until you actually ride him that you're like oh my god like I'm not gonna lie I think me and Maisie are quite similar riders because she rides him how I ride him which is quite nice but that is everything guys I hope you have enjoyed this Christmassy vlog it, it took a lot of planning like I arranged this with Maisie literally ages ago and we've been thinking about how we can make it Christmassy in the school and everything so I hope you've enjoyed it okay guys so just quickly it's actually the same day where me and Maze went I'm just editing but what I'd like to say is if you guys have got any ideas of Christmassy vlogs that you would like to see comment down below or message me on instagram which is md equestrian underscore with some ideas because if it is possible either i will do it or i can see if i can get maze involved or something like that i have a few things but not loads so it would make a massive difference if you guys could help as well because then i will know that you guys actually want to see it and watch it also there's something else i forgot to mention in today's vlog is through december there are obviously going to be some christmas vlogs but there are also going to be some normal vlogs as well which are not going to be christmassy 
but all the way through December there is going to be the Christmassy intro but just not every vlog is going to be Christmassy like today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some more Christmassy vlogs over December and I'll see you all next time. Bye!